Some of them have dreams of being doctors, chemical engineers. Some of them have dreams of being able to provide for their families or being able to you know, matric or graduate from high school, be the first ones in their family to do that. Some of them want to be able to, to get a, a job driving a taxi, which means they'll be the first in their family to ever get a driver's license. And when we got to the top of the mountain, I felt like, like the Lord was saying to me, look before you, look at this vast ocean and these beautiful mountains, you mean so much more to me. I feel like for these kids to feel love, they just need consistency in their life. Um, they get to come to the Dream Center and it is consistent. It's a place where they get to dream. They get to just be a kid, get to do their homework. They have Wi-Fi, they have electricity, they have just a field to go play on. These kids have made a huge impact on me. I've seen the Lord's goodness and faithfulness in their lives through them. I've seen His promises of taking care of them and providing for them. I've seen their faithfulness in the Lord. When are you going to have the chance again in your life or in this context to serve and to grow your faith alongside like-minded people? I'm not, like what qualifies me to like give this important message on like sharing the love of Christ and the gospel with these students? Like I, I'm an engineer, I sit at a desk all day and look at a computer screen. God doesn't call the qualified, He qualifies the called. No matter what's going on in their life, they're still joyful, they still laugh, they still come, uh, they're still present in the moment, and they're just full of energy. And why can't I have that same energy? Yeah, I see Jesus in every one of them. I see their potentials. I see them struggle with life. I see their, the messiness in their families and their desire to, to move beyond that. Um, so how have they impacted me is they've shown me Jesus in many ways.